go to twitter.com, hit sign in, then put in your name and your OCSB account, then click next. Unclick this box in order to protect your privacy. So I was sent an email code, so I'm just gonna put in here, it expires two hours after it was sent. Okay, now I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna put in a password that's gonna be super awesome. Awesome password. And now I'm gonna go next and I'm gonna have it save because here's the username it gave me. It's a terrible username, but I can pick, come up with that later. I'm gonna hit save sure. and I'm there's gonna an awesome, amazing picture that I can use there. I'm gonna apply and now, I'm going to go to next, hugs, okay, and now I can choose some of these things. Obviously, I'm being very thoughtful about that, okay, and now it's going to suggest people I might want to follow, so I can choose to follow as many of those as I want, all right, I'm going to skip notifications, because I don't need to know them, and wango bango, here I am, all ready to go on Twitter. So one of the things that you might want to do is search some of the OCSB um, accounts like um, or hashtags. So let's see, OCSB at home. So that's going to quickly take me to all kinds of people who have um, tweeted about that point. I can look at people who have tweeted that or photos that are related to that. And I can start following all kinds of people.